headline. DOJ considered charging Portland officials over riots. From Fox News. DOJ, they just mean Department of Justice. You know what that implies? That they know they're not going to get money out of taking the actual rioters off the street or out of their homes and throwing them in prison or jail. They know they're not going to get money that way because their shadow banking system collapsed last year. So what they were doing with that system, they're doing out in the real publicly available stock market blowing bubbles and popping them everywhere. So now that they can't steal your life away, they're going after their slave owners. <laughs> they're turning on themselves. Because they can no longer harvest wealth out of their so-called livestock. People like you and me. So they're going after all these officials because they were the ones holding everyone's um, uh, Federal Reserve uh, private fucking, oh, what you call it. It's been a while since I've looked at it. Basically, to explain it as simply as possible, your social security card has a, a number written in a certain color ink on the back of it. That's tied to a Federal Reserve account that's yours and yours alone. And every time that you're charged in court with some sort of felony or misdemeanor or whatever, Every time there's a charge against you, that charge is like being charged a bill. Why do you think they call it a charge? It goes into your personal Federal Reserve account through that number on the back of your Social Security card. And they take money out of that account. All right, and you can validate this by speaking with someone who's actually researched it and compared that research to what happens when you used to what happened when you would get uh, full-blown AIDS and have your doctor sign up this thing, this piece of paperwork that would grant you like a million dollars or something. Was it just a million? I don't remember the exact amount, but there used to be a thing you could do when you got full-blown AIDS. And you could go and get like a million dollars or so from having your doctor draw up this fucking paperwork. That goes directly into your Federal Reserve account and gives that money directly to you. Now, <clears throat> because their shadow banking system has collapsed and they can no longer fuck everyone over in their privatized Federal Reserve um, blowing bubbles and watching them pop and popping them scenario. Now that they're having to do that in the actual stock market instead of with your Federal Reserve account, they're going after the let's just call them the section slaveholder heads. Each, uh, each mayor, senator, they're all a section leader over the mindless masses. So they're going after them because they have more wealth than the commonplace person and they can't readily access the commonplace person's wealth anymore that collapsed along with their shadow banking system. 
So they're going after the slaveholders because they've been too greedy. Well, this isn't the only reason, but it's a good one to start with. They've been too greedy, and they've been tormenting everyone. So now all of the, all of the people in the House, the Senate and everything, they're all turning against each other. Even more so than normal. Like one of your founding fathers said, America, a house divided cannot stand. So just think about that, everyone. Think about it. Because the way these people choose to word things, it's more than just clickbait. If you learn how to read between the lines, you can discern what they're doing and why they're doing it and how they're doing it. It's really that easy. Of course, to me, it's that easy, you know. The vast majority of you lacking any imagination or intelligence of which to speak, you probably don't understand a single word I've said so far. And yes, I do blame you for being stupid and ignorant. You claim you're grown men and women, start fucking acting like it. Start acquiring knowledge. It's the only way to develop an imagination at all. Memory, knowledge, intelligence and imagination, and then wisdom. But first things first, start acquiring knowledge. It's all just falling apart for everybody. It's all just falling apart. Let me oversimplify everything that's going on, that's been going on for the last 10 years, even more than that, but small steps at a time. Everything that's going to be happening for the next 10 or so years, it's all just falling apart. The whole corrupt system, it's all just falling apart. But hopefully, now, people are waking the fuck up and seeing it for what it really was, always was, and was always intended to be. While it falls the fuck apart. Mm. Eh, that's it. I'm done talking. Till next time. Bye.